everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a cute little box for you today, a little love cats box, if you will. I use this cat like he's hanging off kind of the edge of this piece over here with a little heart hanging off the edge. I didn't design this box for anything specific. I think filling it, there's a lot of little Valentine candy, like the little chocolate hearts um, that I thought we needed a box for. So you can fill this with whatever you want. Okay, let's make our box first. Let me get my assembly scored. Now this box, to make a box this size, one eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock isn't long enough. So we're gonna make the box and the lid separately and then put them together. The first piece that you need, this is Balmy Blue, 11 by six. And we're gonna score the long side at four, five and a half, and nine and a half, okay? And then turn it and score it at one and a half and four and a half. Now for the lid, you just need a small piece, three and a half by three. And we're gonna score it just at the one and a half mark on the long side, right there, okay? okay. Now grab your bone folder and burnish those lines really well. And then you're gonna grab your scissors. And these middle tabs right here, we're gonna cut the lines like that. And then cut the corners off. Okay, and then repeat over here. All right, now this box is gonna fold up like this. <clears throat> and these flaps are gonna come in from the side, okay? So we want to cut them from the end, like this. All right, and then you can cut the corners off of these like this. All right, so here's what your piece looks like, okay? So I'm gonna use Stampin' Seal Plus, and I'm gonna use this right here on these tabs, like that on the outside of the tabs, and I'm gonna fold up the back side. The back side is the one that has these extra flaps, okay, like that. And then I'm gonna put adhesive right here on these flaps, I can get my adhesive to work. And I'm gonna fold them up and over, kind of like it's hugging the box. All right, now this box looks like it has a lid, but it's, we want that flap to fold over, right? So these fold in. This is going to just be an extender for this. So we're gonna adhere that on, and it's just gonna look like it totally goes, right? Boop. Now I think what I'm gonna do is cut the corners just real slim right here off of this. That way nothing sticks out beyond the edge of our next piece, just in case one is a slightly larger than the other. All right, now I'm gonna put my adhesive on here. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna line it up right on the edge, okay, like that. So now it folds over and we have that flap in the front. Perfect, right? So sometimes you wanna make a box that is bigger than what you can make out of your eight and a half by 11 cardstock. And I don't have this in 12 by 12. So we just pieced it together. All right, I've got this adorable Country Gingham Designer Series paper we're gonna use on the front and on the sides. And on the top as well. Now this paper comes in four different colors, so you could use different colors of cardstock if you want. 
I made this card to match a card my downline Anne Marie gave me. And it's the same colors, same cat, but I made it into a box. All right, so now we've got that in place. I'm gonna use a little button magnet here to put this, um, to hold this box closed. You're gonna We're gonna use glue dots. And I have found that stacking two glue dots makes this really strong. For whatever reason, putting two glue dots on top of each other makes this button magnet hold and not pull off your cardstock. Okay, so get it nice and lined up. And then put it right there. So now you have a little boop, little closure. I love those magnets. I'll have those linked on my blog for you. All right, now what about our cat? The star of the show, we've got to get him stamped. I'm gonna use my Stamparatus. Um, as I've mentioned on my previous cat, love cat projects, I'm using my Stamparatus so that I can get a good, nice, solid, dark image. Um, sometimes when you stamp a solid image the first time, it's not completely solid like you wanted it to be. So this way I can ink it this, a second time, lay it back down, and make that image more bold. Now I'm going to line him up right here so that his hands really are kind of off the edge. Now, depending on how you trimmed or your sticker is on your stamp, you might have to adjust a little bit. All right, pick that up. I'm gonna use stays on. You can use memento black if you want as well, but I just think that stays on is a darker, richer black. And if you're not really using stamp and blends, you don't have to worry about this. All right, see how he's just kind of gray? He's not real solid. Let's do that again. And voila, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna come back over here. I'm gonna get my regular stamp and seal. and put him right there. I have cut a little white scalloped border using the border die from the hand pen or pen flower dies. There will be a supply list on my blog today as well as these measurements. So make sure you hop over there and grab it. There's also two other Love Cat projects. Now notice my but my border isn't straight, you guys. It doesn't have to be when you're doing something like this because we can line it up there straight. All right, now I have this little bitty heart that just dropped on the floor, of course. <laughs> Never fails. And I'm gonna get a glue dot for it. These two hearts that I'm getting ready to use are from the Give It A Whirl dies. I use these all the time. These are great dies. Um, I don't necessarily use the give it a whirl part all the time, but all the little accessories that go with it, I use constantly. Um, I'm using, I'm adding Wink of Stella there because of course, why not? And then we're going to stamp our sentiment. And you know what? Let me stamp this on some scratch paper. When I have red rubber, sometimes I don't mount them very well, and I just wanna make sure I'm gonna get that straight. Yep, see how it's up on the right side? So I need to make sure I put it down a little bit on the corner. Now, using your Stamparatus will help you with this, but I just have it on a block already, so we're going with it. Okay, now, some dimensionals buried under my pile over here. We'll put this one right there and this other heart right here now i am using some ribbon to tie around this box that's actually been on the clearance rack for a while and it's great ribbon so if you're looking for some red ribbon check it out hopefully by the time i publish this video it's still available if not 
We've got other red ribbon that you can use if you need some red ribbon. And we're gonna just tie that around the sides like that. And, boop, there we go. A cute little box. I used two different patterns of DSP and they're both adorable. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, get the supply list, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.